Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. In the last video, I said, hey, yeah, we'll, we'll just run these trucks up the, uh, up the Chiliad another day after my disgust with having the computer crash. And by the way, it's already crashed once. Oh, yeah, let's, let's do something real quick. Fix the music again. Okay, so we don't have any music. We're not going to ruin this video like the last video was ruined. I had to dump all that footage of me doing all this before. But anyway, this is my my Canis uh, Seminole? No, oh, Canis Frontier. It says Frontier right on there. I should be reading. My Canis Frontier, which is designed to remind me of my buddy Richie Z's Cherokee that he had some years ago. He gave it to a family member where he had just a little bit of rust on the rocker panel. Now he has a, a pristine Wrangler. Oh, done in rhino black, I believe. This car, it's, a, it's, it's an homage. It's not exact. He didn't, I don't think he had a roof rack quite like that. He had a roof rack, but not anything quite. They don't have like the regular rails you can put on these. Didn't have the lights. But I like the lights. And so yeah, it is my car. So if you can imagine if I had, if I had bought this from him or something like that. That's, that's what this is all about in this game. These little homages. The wheels, I can't remember exactly what his wheels were like. I think they were dark. I don't like actually the uh, the carbon black looks a little more gray, but that's that's all good. We'll get in like we're British. <clears throat> and I thought to myself, while we're just driving stuff up the hill, let's talk about the why. Why am I doing this? Okay, well, step one is I I said I would. You know, it's, I I said, hey, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll show these cars off and we'll. We'll check their performance here. And it's just something that I like to do with these. You know, yeet them through a field. That's pretty darn good. We face the train, it almost certainly will come. And we'll take it up the hot lap route. The hot lap route is a thing. You know, this is... Step two, this is good practice for the time where I'll be in a uh, in a G Fred at some point, probably on 5M, where this is, uh, this is just in the traffic. And I'll know, well, can I get up Chiliad or not, you know? These are, these are important things, important things to know. Step three, the other, another reason I like to make these videos is I'm fully aware that the time will come when there is no longer a GTA. I mean, absolutely, there will be no GTA being played whatsoever. Now, it may be that they're successful enough to have GTA 7 and 8 and 9 and when 90 years old. But... By the way, that that should scare you because if I, they're only a GTA 9 with in the next 40 years, then things have not been progressing as quickly as one might hope. But these are still things that you you have the uh, the feeling of ownership for, you know. As I've said before, they, they say psychologically you don't know the difference between buying a virtual car and a real car, so these are my cars. In my mind. So obviously I'd like to have pictures, you know? Some movies, some memories. Oh yeah, remember that? Remember that time you got bought that Jeep just because it looked like Richie Z's? Which I think I nailed the color, by the way. That was a perfect mix of I think it was like marine green with a, a dark green pearlescent. It was a nice mix. Okay. Can't do it. Can't we climb? I shouldn't have done that. I, w I wasn't looking where I was going. Every time I look to the side, like that, and you kick your eye off the prize. 
Okay, we have to go back down here a little bit. Slight chilly egg disaster, but it was my fault, not the trucks. Chili egg is a funny thing. It's a, we're not going to bail out totally here. We're just going to... Get the climb going again. Okay, here we go. So this is a, a capable truck. More than capable of making up for my mistakes. Look at that. Not, not a ton of power, I don't think, but it's, it's got tons of traction. And this guy, these people might be run over. Don't you know you're on a road? Not a trail. This is G-Friend. Slow down, what's up? It's G-Friend practice is what it is. So, I mean, really, how many of my videos are just stuff that I make that I can put on YouTube and later on if, I, if I'm missing GTA 5 online and I call it GTA 5 online regularly and it's not called that, it's GTA online it's different from GTA 5 but I wonder what's going to happen when GTA 6 comes around and then you need a GTA online Is there, are they going to dump all of this and then give you the 6 uh, the, the GTA 6 cars and GTA 6 buildings and the, the GTA 6 locations. What if I don't want any of that? What if I just want my GTA 5 online? What if I just want this truck? I don't really care about the new plot or the new cars or the, the better graphics. You know, because, you know, a lot of times video games, they become a place for you to go. A familiar place. A comforting place. A place where you relax and just drive around on a mountain without really accomplishing anything. Did I turn it to the right place? No, I did not. See, I'm never really 100% sure where I'm supposed to turn down this, despite the fact that I've watched hundreds of G Freds. That's how tricky a G Fred is. You know, all the, the brown rocks at the top look the same, and then you're. Eating yourself into trees. Is this thing a two-wheel drive? I almost got the impression there that this is a two-wheel drive. Let's like test that way. That'd be funny. Here I am thinking it's a four by four, and it might not be. I mean, hey, boss. Yeah, I know. Did we? Did we get that last time? Wow, the door closed instead of falling off. That that was good. And we made it down. That's a huzzah. That was nicely done. Okay. Nicely rotated. So my my whole YouTube channel, maybe maybe this is true of all my YouTube channels, are really just home movies with a certain theme, you know? I mean, my, my personal channel is really just that. I actually have a lot of unlisted home movies, you know? It's... But I also have, you know, all, whatever kind of random little creative things I like to put on the refrigerator of YouTube and see who likes to look at them. And, you know, sometimes people like to look at them, sometimes they don't. And it's okay. It's just what I'm putting up on the refrigerator today. I saw you do that. You want you want to get cream to just jump in front of a jeep there, motorcycle guy. And I know it looks like I have beaten up this homage to my friend's jeep, and I have. But you know I have unlimited amounts of mechanics fix-ups for a, a fixed fee. It, it was a good deal. You know? And you know what we're going to do now? We're going to do the same thing with this other vehicle that I promised. Technically, there are three, but the third one we're going to do something special, which, special with 
which I will get to. Not special which, with what I will get to. No, I can I can talk. I am sure there are ways I can talk. So this is just a, a, a Merryweather Mesa that I finally decided to make not stock. And of course you get these by having mercenaries attack you or calling mercenaries in on someone and then while they're shooting the person stealing their truck. I think I, I'm fairly certain on mine I killed the mercenaries that were after me and took their truck. And you know, I just had a horrible lot. Did I put insurance on this? If the answer is no, I shouldn't be driving it up and down a mountain. Armor or no? Let, let's go. Let's go over to uh, Beaker's there and uh, verify before I have it hit by a train. But this has insurance. Do, 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 do. Excuse me, this is the fastest way through. I'm gonna pay him money. That's a, I'm just gonna put some money at this point. Just, just drive in here. It's like magic. In ten seconds, you're fixed. Not the weeks upon weeks upon weeks that it would normally take. What's wrong with her now? I just gotta make sure. No, I don't have coverage. Oh, I do have coverage. Okay, I do. I, I, they were both lit up. Okay, I'm. I'm just. It's too early in the morning on a Sunday. <sighs> Let me check the time. Yeah, not even eight yet. A lot of times, it's early in the morning that I make these videos because that's when the house is nice and quiet. And I have no particular responsibilities. So we do the hot lap again. There's supposed to be an even faster line for the G Fred, which I assume if you're watching this, you know what a G Fred is. If not, you know. If you just Google what is G-Fred, you'll get Bruffy's video. It's a Bruffy 1322 thing, and he's in the library of, uh, of GTA references here, the reference library. It's a race. It's, it's a long story. Now I can face this without fear, although I'm not going to try and do the head-on with the train. It's a little wobbly. It has the wobbles. And you might say, why did you pick lime green? Because it took me forever to unlock it. So that was the... I still don't have metallic lime green unlocked on my other car. So more stunts to do. So let's see, can a fully upgraded Canis Mesa. A regular Canis Mesa, I don't think, can do this. It doesn't have the horsepower. Certainly a stock one, you're, you're going to be in serious trouble. They're too slow. And we might be in serious trouble here. Now maybe I'll have to get one at some point to just to prove that point. That it can or cannot do it. There is a way of doing that now that I've... Oh, this isn't good. Come on. This is way too early for you to be dogging out here. I don't know. It's always why I do this that there's problems, but they're not going to be... <coughs> It wasn't going to be um, much of a more of a problem than what we've already got. It keeps downshifting into the wrong gear, or upshifting into the wrong gear. Something. It's the transmission is what's failing me here. We're losing momentum and RPM. You got to wiggle it. Just a little bit. We got it. Uh, just a little bit. Oh, I think we 
You gotta bail out a little bit here. Uh, okay, we found the trail. So this is not as good up the hill as either the Canis Frontier or the Hellion. It's the same couple guys here. This is, or are they different guys? I don't know. One guy pays attention to what's going on, and one guy does not. He says, I don't care. I'm on my trail. I'm walking. Him. Run me over. I don't care. Oh, the AI. But once we get on the trail, we're okay. I would not pick this, you know, necessarily in a, in a G Fred. That wasn't great. But did get there. Not quick though. I think I took that a little too far. Okay, reverse is not helping me here. Oh, this is bad. The lack of brakes there. Uh, And there we go. We didn't hit the summit, technically speaking. Okay. Let's go, you Merryweather Mesa. Let's get you off the rocks. You can redeem yourself here a little bit. I think we have to find the other trail. Which you may have. We found something. We found a way. All right, that counts. It made it up. Cue the oh summit. Now, of course, we have to go down. That's part of it. Yes, yes, he is. I'm glad you have faith. All right. Ah! Terribly sorry. You were just suddenly there. Is she going to get up? And she's going to run down the mountain. Meanwhile, the other guy's like, oh, I'm hiking on without you. You just got run over, but I don't care. I'm going up to the, the hill. You do what you want to do. You be you. Meredith. Poor Meredith. I am not going to try. I'm going to try not to run her over twice. That wasn't the goal. Did she just, just jump off the mountain? Oh, there she goes. She's got... That's... She's got to fall down the mountain at some point, doesn't she? There's a distinct... There's a distinct possibility that we'll run her over later on. I'm not even using gas. This is just kind of flying down on its... We're out of control, totally. Oh, we're... This is a... This is a stuck. Oh no, a transaction. Is it going to crash? My, my, my transaction pendings, this tends to be what crashes the computer. Okay, you know, you're not allowed to do this in a G, Fred, what I'm about to do. Which, you know, fall down the mountain, you're allowed to do that. I have to get this from, get to a certain vantage point here, or I will heat myself down the mountain by accident. Or, that, or don't do that. Oh, ouch. Yes, you're allowed to do that, G Fred. This is a particularly bad place to be if you're walking. Okay, where's my truck? There's my truck. You're not allowed to do this. But this is my video, and I can do what I want. So, yeet. 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 The yeet, mon the, the yeet gun is not working particularly well.
I cannot climb up this. Is it true enough that we could get up? Oh, we even get into it. I don't know that I can get back up to it. We have fallen too far. There you go. Use your hands. Let's get in the truck. We're ye a ridiculous amount way down. Kind of funny. It will not let me get in the thing. That seems fitting. Well, I'm kind of just stranded here with no car. It is a pretty sunset, though. I guess I guess this is a, a good way to end the video. So to sum up, why do I do things like this? Number one, because I like to. Number two, because I told you I would. Number three, because it's kind of a... I make these videos as a historical record of the things I'd like to remember... Especially when I'm old about my video game life. And number four, did you even notice that those were completely different than the numbers I used in the first part of the video? And of course, maybe because you're into this sort of thing, which is probably the least likely of those things. But hey, listen, you know, I'm, I'm, if you are, then I, I'm happy about that. that. That's a good thing. Thank you. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your completely stranded Black Knight. Have a great night. Oh, but just so you know, the next video, I did have one more truck I said I was going to bring up here, and that's going to be a little bit special. Did you forget about Simeon? Yes, and it was great. <laughs> so on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. I said that twice. No.